Hey, what's up, reefers? Sometimes you need to take a step back to move forward. So today I am testing my water. I picked up this henna phosphate test kit from a local reefer for $40. Um, it includes a small box of reagents that he bought, so it's a pretty good deal. So I tested out my tank water and the phosphate come back at 0 0.02. That sounds really low, but I gotta look it up. Um, so I think that's good. It either means that there's no phosphate in the water or all the algae is taking up all the phosphates. So that is my phosphate situation. Uh, happy to report that it's not through the roof as I was fearing. So next, we are gonna test out my actual water source. Uh, I have used tap water. I have used uh, Walmart's RO water recently. So we're gonna take a look and see how good they actually are. All right, guys, we're back. So right in front of us, we have three little jars of water. Uh, the first one right here is distilled water that I have laying around. Um, I use this water for my Venus flytrap because it cannot have water with any dissolved organic. Uh, so we have distilled water. It should be really pure. And then we have the tap water from my uh, faucets, unfiltered. And then we have the our old reverse osmosis water from Walmart. So before I start, let me say that I've been using the tap water for pretty much the entire year. Um, and I switched over to Walmart water for the last month, I believe. And I've been having like algae issue, uh, as you can see in my, in my videos. So instead of going the entire way to buy a RODI unit, um, I just did not really want to deal with the hassle of setting it up because I don't have a, a sink in my laundry room. I don't feel like drilling holes in my pipe and my faucets, uh, the, the nozzle of the faucet is not a standard one, it's like a flat one, so it may be a little bit problematic hooking the RDI unit up. So I've been avoiding it. Figure I will just go with the Walmart out of water because I heard some pretty good review. People have tested the Walmart water out with like zero um, TDS, that's um, total dissolve something. <laughs> total dissolve, I don't know what does S stand for, you guys can tell me. But basically, the lower the number, the better. Ideally, it should be a zeroed out. So this arrived yesterday thanks to one of you guys. Uh, sorry, I forgot your name. Should have caught your name first before I started filming this. Um, a user suggested that I should test out the Walmart's water because it may not be the best. Um, so here I am. Ordered this uh, TDS unit from Amazon. for It's like $15, super cheap. Just to, It's a good way to kind of test out your water source. I should have gotten this a lot earlier. I didn't know it cost just like $15. Oh, if you guys are interested, I'll add the Amazon link in the video description below. So let's turn this guy on. So zeroed out. And note that this entire unit is not waterproof. It's only the front portion. So don't dunk the entire thing in a water bucket. So this is the distilled water. Let's take a look. So put this in. This has one. Yeah, I gotta come over on this side. All right, so actually, I was zero because I lifted up off out of the water. All right, so one. So at least now I know it's what uh, is working because distilled water should be pure, right? So There's one on the TDS meter. All right, next we have the tap water coming out of my faucet. All right, this is gonna be a surprise for me too. I've been using this water for a long time. Let's see. Let's see what I've been dealing with. Holy smoke. Can you guys see this? 193 and 194. I don't know what that number means, but that sounds really high. <laughs> so let me know how bad this actually is compared to other people's tap water. So I've been using this water um, in my fish tank for a good year. So there's a bunch of different stuff. Now, it does, it, this does not tell you exactly what is in the water. It just tells you there's a lot of, um, that's a measurement of dissolved organic that's present in the water. Again, the less, the smaller amount, the better, ideally zero. All right, so this is what I'm curi really curious about. This one is the uh, reverse osmosis our water I got from Walmart. This is the Germantown, Maryland of Walmart. They have, um, they have a schedule of people maintaining the unit, so I have high hopes. All right, let's see this. Why don't you guys take a guess? I'll give you like five seconds to write down your answer in the comments below, and this will be a, a little surprise. How much faith do you have in Walmart providing 
good water to people. Alright, you guys ready? Here's the review. 54. 53. So, it's not as low as I has I had hoped. But I guess compared to my tap order, it's, it's like, what, 75% better. So for now, I think it's worth it for me to just keep going to Walmart to um, pick up water from there. And of course, ideally, I should figure out my uh, water source situation so I can just buy an RDI unit, hook it up in my house, and start producing my own water that is comparable to the distilled water. Here, let's go back there. So here's the distilled water, now showing two, probably because I contaminated the nozzle or the head. Yeah, now it's one. Yeah, so one, uh, roughly 170, and this is about 50, 55, 60. So a lot, a lot better than my tab, but far from ideal. It's still quite high. So this is kind of eye-opening, eye actually. Uh, I was expecting the Walmart water to be a little bit better, especially since they seem to have a schedule of people cleaning it out, right? But I guess, I don't know. What do you guys think? It's, it's around the 60 range high. Alright, well, the reason I'm doing all these water tests now is because, uh, like I mentioned before, the tank is now really obviously having algae issue again, uh, similar to what I was going through uh, a couple months back. And it is either brown diatom or dino algae again. Um, regardless of what kind of algae it is, I'm not overly concerned because with your help, I was able to beat it once. And I have all the right equipment this time. So I'll just throw the black tarp over the entire tank, turn off the lights, and just kind of let it sit for about three or four days without lights. And I will probably be dosing the hydrogen peroxide again, uh, just to, just in case this is dino, it will just kind of kick that too. I think my only reservation for blacking out the tank is that I have a feeling my rose bubble tip enemies, they're gonna roam. They're gonna walk to look for lights. That is actually what happened last time. I think after like the third day, they started roaming. And with these guys at their current size, it's gonna sting a lot of things if they start roaming. So that is my only reservation. Besides the enemies, everything else came out totally fine. They look even healthier before the um, the light out so I wasn't I'm not too concerned about just uh, kind of packing the tank up for a couple of days but yeah so this is pretty much the reason I wanted to test my water at a source uh, number one phosphate whether it's phosphate in the water uh, but didn't really detect any high phosphate probably because all the phosphate went into fueling the algae growth and number two, I wanted to test the water to see if the Walmart's RO water is actually that great. And if not, I may need to start looking into alternatives, whether it's from a different source or just bite the bullet and figure out the RODI unit installation. And I don't know, about 60 uh, parts per million is that high. Yeah, I'm really new to all these like water chemistry things because I, you know, I mean, as my name says, inappropriate reefer. <laughs> I take shortcuts. I just listen to like uh, people have some comments, listen to it, I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Let's do it. So I really don't research too much into water chemistry. And as long as the core looks fine, I'm like, okay, all right, things are good. But of course, environment could be better. And now I guess environment could be better and could use some help because algae is coming back again. So. Maybe I do need to address the water source once and for all. Anyways, just want to do a quick update. It is kind of rambly because I'm kind of telling you my thought process. That's why I'm kind of jumping around. I did not really think about what to say before starting a video. I just kind of roll with it. And those are the results that came back. All right, guys. Hope you guys are having a good Friday. And I hope you guys have a good weekend. I will. Talk to you guys later. See ya.